Okay, let's start. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this evening, let us begin our show with our prayers. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. Let us pray the prayer for the protection of hands in inclusion, Philippines. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue and repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with our gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan. And may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands in inclusion Philippines to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong things. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Clair of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, Pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Pius X, and Pope Saint John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone, all organizations, and all the people who formerly worked with the organization who made terrible mistakes. And those the people who took part in the conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and Anthony Hushan. Amen. The, the wounds inflicted upon him due to COVID-19. This is... Forget me in our lives. Ang mga pananaw at opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan 
ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. and gentlemen, welcome to our The Inclusive Report. Today is Thursday, November 11, 2021. I am Carlos Miguel Kanahashi and we're broadcasting simultaneously on Inclu Radio and on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. As we commence our show this evening, I would like to share with you our daily verse for today. From Isaiah chapter 51, verse 12. I, even I, am he who comforts you. Who are you that you fear mere mortals, human beings who are but grass? We shall commence our presentation in just a moment, and we will be back after these commercials. Now this.
Welcome back to the Inclusive Report. We shall now commence our presentation this evening. Hi everyone, good day to all of you. This is my pre-recorded presentation for the Inclusive Report for Thursday, November 11, 2021. I am Carlos Miguel Kanahashi from Hands in Inclusion Philippines. In this pre-recorded presentation, we will discuss the, about the famous sign language interpreters. So, well, first of all, sign language interpreters play an important role in bringing people together, facilitating dialogue and promoting mutual understanding. We want to recognize the amazing talents and accomplish and admired sign language interpreters today and every day. So let us now get to know our famous sign language interpreters in our country, the Philippines, and abroad. So our first sign language interpreters are the following. Here in the Philippines, we have Rosiel Bukay. She is a sign language interpreter and a SPED educator. We have Joy Villarreal. She is an advocate for persons with disabilities in the Philippines and a sign language interpreter. We have Niki Templo Perez or Maria Veronica Niki Templo Perez. Mom Niki has experienced 20 years in volunteerism, teaching, and administration. She served as the head of the Office for Deaf Esteem Information. She became the Dean of the School of Deaf Education and Applied Study and the Director of the St. Brother Jaime Hilario Institute. She was then appointed as the Director of the Center for Inclusive Education. And she's now the current President for La Salle Mission and Student Life. She was also a part of the organizations and key stakeholders that pushed for the passing of the Filipino Sign Language Law of 2018. She is an excellent communicator and a leader who encourages dialogue and collaboration with students, parents, and various members of the community. She continues her work as a sign language interpreter and a strong advocate of diversity and inclusion in the work and school setting. We also have J. Maisel Lardizaba. He is a former member of the Philippine National Association of Sign Language Interpreter and a SPED teacher of the Department of Education. He passed away last June 29 this year. Bayani Generoso Jr. is also a sign language interpreter. While based in Canada, Bayani spent seven years as a community interpreter and joined projects that help create accessible environments for the deaf and deafblind. When he came back to the Philippines, he worked as a project consultant with deaf education programs and began working in mass media with fellow interpreters and health professionals to provide remote health and information access to the deaf community in our country. Jun Salada, the late Jun Salada, is a, is a sign language interpreter on Kapwa Ko, Mahal Ko, on GMA Network. He recently passed away just a couple of months ago. Pebe Sevilla has been a faculty member of the School of Deaf Education and Applied Studies, but was a teacher with the Philippine School for the Deaf, which is a public school catering to elementary and secondary students as well. Ember Parpa experienced sign language for 24 years as an interpreter with active in, among engagement with the deaf communities for a collective of three, four years. She is knowledgeable in Filipino language and can do both sign language interpreting and voice interpreting. She is also an advocate for the education of the deaf families in communicating with the family members who are deaf. She has been passionate about various volunteer work in different deaf organizations in our country. She shared her endeavors towards equipping and building young interpreters in our country as well. An American actress named Marley Matlin 
was only 18 months old when an illness permanently destroyed all hearing in her right ear, making her deaf. She's an American deaf actress as well. Phyllis Frelich is a Tony Award-winning deaf actress and starred on Broadway in Children of a Lesser God, in, wherein she won an award in 1980. Linda Bogue is an American deaf actress who performed Linda on Sesame Street. Warren Snipe is a deaf writer, rapper, and performer. He was featured in Fingers Crossed, lyric video, and completed an album called Deaf, So What? Alexandria Waylis is an, is an American deaf actress, dancer, director, and educator. She utilizes the language of English and American Sign Language and is known for her work with the Deaf West Theater. She's both a Los Angeles Ovation nominee or LA Ovation nominee and a Tony Honorary recipient for her work in the musical theater. Amber Galloway is a sign language interpreter wherein she specialized in the interpretation of concerts and music festivals into American Sign Language. She's been described as the most recognizable sign language interpreters in America. To summarize our topic, interpreters often have a front row seat to many notable events throughout history. We highlighted some of the most famous interpreters. These amazing individuals worked side by side with our leaders, created peace between opposing cultures and become television icons. The influential work will serve as a perfect example of why these famous sign language interpreters are very important in our future, in our world today, in our civilized society. And that's the end of my pre-recorded presentation. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, ladies and gentlemen. So when we about famous sign language interpreters. We we need these because this is also part of showing our talents and also to show the deaf culture as well, not only in our country, but also throughout the world as well. That's because this is part of the deaf culture as well. The reason why we need this is because we need to show that we are in an inclusive society. Regardless of who we are and the way we were, we need to have these famous sign language interpreters because we need these in order for us to show that we are more inclusive and also to say and also to, to know that these interpreters always work hard because we need this for our development as well, including the deaf community, not only in the Philippines, but also throughout the world as well. And also, sign language interpreters play a very, played a very important role in bringing everyone together to facilitate dialogue and to promote mutual understanding. And we need this because professional interpreters are important in our future, in our civilized society. It's because this is part of our inclusive community and also part of the cultures of the deaf community as well. And that's the end of our topic this evening. And now let us move on to our announcements. Okay. So here are some of our announcements. First of all, 
We have some products for sale at the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop. Because of the 11 at 11 sale, we are selling our tote bags and our t-shirts. For our tote bags, sizes range from 6 by 5 to 14 inches and prices range from 150 pesos to 180 pesos. Additional tax and design will be what will be charged 50 pesos. In the case of our t-shirts, sizes range from small to quad XL and prices range from 270 pesos to 320 pesos. So our 11 to 11 sale will run until November 11, 2021 only. So how can we pay, ladies and gentlemen? Well, first of all, we will be very strict on payments. Payment first before purchase. We're accepting payments on GCash on this QR code that I'll flash this to you in just a moment. And we will deliver your ordered products via GoGo Express and LBC as well. Also, just, just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, the Hansen Inclusion Philippines online shop is temporarily closed for areas under the Enhanced Community Quarantine, Modified Enhanced Community Quarantine areas, but it will continue to serve in areas under the General Community Quarantine, Modified General Community Quarantine areas and some of the areas under the newly implemented alert level system as well. Its operating hours are from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. For a full list of orders, please visit the Hansen Inclusion Philippines Facebook page or email us at hansen.inclusion at gmail.com. Ladies and gentlemen, we at Hansen Inclusion needs your help. We have been struggling with our financial problems in our organization. So regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is more or larger. It will be appreciated for you guys to help us as early as now. So how? You may purchase our products from the online shop and to scan and donate using GCash and this QR code that is flashed on your screen. You will see this in one of our posts in the digital social media pages of Hansen Inclusion Philippines. So, please, please help Hansen Inclusion Philippines for its fundraising project as well. So, guys, what are you waiting for? Please, please, and please, please purchase our products from the Hansen Inclusion Philippines online shop. And also to donate to Hans in Inclusion Philippines as well. Please help Hans in Inclusion Philippines fundraising project. We're aiming to raise funds in our organization and let us have time to rebuild in order for us to have a bigger, a better, and a bolder Hans in Inclusion Philippines. So the proceeds from the sale from the from where from the sale from the unlock and to your donations will go to us here in Hands and Inclusion, wherein we will, you will, it will be for our expenses in organization and also for its formality as well. So guys, for those who did this, you'll be glad you did. And for those who did this, thank you for your continuous generosity and for your support to our organization. Okay, so we have some remaining events coming up for the month of November in Best Buddies, Philippines. On November 13, 2021, at 4 p.m., we'll be having our, as usual, our Best Buddies, Philippines Saturday series of learning. And we'll be discussing a very important topic that will be what we call as Random Acts of Kindness. We've already discussed this topic on our editorial episode last no November 1st during my stay, during my temporary stay in Zambales. And the reason why we need to show random acts of kindness is because we need to be kind to each other and also to be a good friend as well. We will discuss that with Gia Jawson and Francine Campos as well. We will also have Wellness Wednesday at 3 p.m. with Coach Pepper on November 17th. 
on November 20 at 4 p.m., we'll be having our countdown to Christmas with Lindsay and Javi on our Best Ways Philippines Saturday series of learning. And also on November 27 at 4 p.m., we'll be having our Friendsgiving Karaoke. So guys, for those who want to join these events for the remainder of this month in Best Buddies Philippines, follow Best Buddies Philippines on Facebook and Instagram, send them a message, and they will send you the registration form and link as well. Here in Best Buddies Philippines, make a friend, be a friend. Hiraya Gallery and Special Achievers will present to you projects sold out. 15 out of 76 works are sold, but now it's already doubled to 17 out of 76 works are sold. So, this is in partnership with Ateneo Special Education Society, Autism Strong Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, College of Rehabilitation Sciences Student Council, Hands in Inclusion, Little Hands ISCO with UNICEF, Philippine Academy of Occupational Therapies Incorporated, Society of Occupational Therapy Majors, the Abel Center to Guad Ateneo, and the UP Collegiate Association of Speech Pathologists and You Belong PH. So if you want to check this out, please check the Special Achievers Facebook page for more information. On November 8 to 12, up to tomorrow, we'll be having the Speed Week. So grab your devices and share also some of the posts on, from Ateneo Speed, as they will discuss more about their sectors and some synchronous activities and partner area interactions. So if you want to check this out, please check the Ateneo Speed Facebook page and its Instagram page for updates regarding this event. So guys, if you're feeling hungry, here are some of the products that you want to order from our Sobra Comfort Food Restaurant. So for our menus, all day breakfast, we have tapa sobra, chicken tocino, homemade spam, and corned beef brisket. Prices range from 265 pesos to 275 pesos. For our rice trays, we have bulgogi, gyudon, shawarma, boneless fried chicken, pork crackling bits, and charred chicken. So prices range from 265 pesos to 1,290 pesos. For our buns, we have the fried chicken sandwiches, chicken tocino sandwich, and the pulled pro sandwich. Prices range from 320 pesos to 390 pesos. And also for our pasta, we have penne and gorgonzola and mac and cheese, which is only priced at 290 pesos. So, how can you order from this restaurant? Head over to Sobra Comfort Food website, select the dishes you want to order, choose between pick up and deliver and or delivery, pay conveniently through any of the same integrated payment methods, and your order is confirmed. Expect updates via text or email. Follow Hands in Inclusion Philippines on our social media pages and its digital platforms as well. It will be appreciated for you guys to do this as early as now. Follow us on Facebook, Hands in Inclusion PH, Inclu Radio, Inclu Sports, Inclu Nihan, and the online shop. Instagram, Hands in Inclusion PH, Kumu, H&I Philippines. And also subscribe to our Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel as well. Guys, for those who did this, thank you very much as well.
Okay. Now is the time to proceed with our shoutouts and greetings. So, for our shoutouts and greetings, we'd like to greet happy birthday to those who are celebrating their birthdays today. Happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. To those who are celebrating their anniversaries, happy anniversary as well. And also, I would like to say good evening and thank you to the following. To my family, good evening. Hi! To Hansing Inclusion Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, Best Buddies Benilde, and other PWD organizations, thank you very much as well. To my high school and college friends, good evening as well. And to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world. I hope you guys are in a good mood. But if not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well. To those who are watching us on Inclo Radio, thank you very much as well. And if you missed this episode, it will be premiered on the next day on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. Okay, and also, please continue to support Hansen Inclusion Philippines as well. Follow us on our social media pages. Purchase our products from the online shop as well. And also, for those who did this, thank you very much in advance. Okay, and also, as we wrap up our show this evening, I would like to share with you a quote from one of the famous sign language interpreters. So here is a quote from Bayani Generoso Jr. He is a sign language interpreter, news access team, Filipino sign language access team for COVID-19, and he's a project consultant of the Center for Education, Access, and Development of the School of Deaf Education, and applied studies in Benil Manila. According to him, he said, I feel very honored to be part of the movement towards advocating for deaf access to media and the news, especially at a time when access to information is vital to our health, well-being, and security. We are now a little bit more visible, but it is still a long way from full access to the deaf in the Philippines. This is definitely a step in the right direction. And I hope that now that the deaf have their foot in the door, they can continue to build public awareness for inclusion in all sectors, such as health, justice, and education. So what we have learned this evening is we also need to have a famous sign language interpreters because we need them in order for us to build an inclusive society. Inclusive is for all together towards inclusion because we need those in order for us to put inclusion in our civilized society and also to show our God-given talents and also to show that we are having good communication and barriers as well. And also to appreciate them, we need to say thank you to our famous sign language interpreters who helplessly work hard in order to give access to the deaf and also to show that we are communicated with them through the use of sign language as well. Okay, that's a wrap for our The Inclusive Report episode for Thursday, November 11, 2021. I'll be back again this coming Saturday and Sunday for our shows, One Inclusion Live Weekend. Magpayo tayo ka inclusion and the Inclorajo special report. On behalf of Inclorajo and Hands in Inclusion Philippines, I am your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, saying may the Almighty God bless us all. Pagpalain nawa tayo na poong may kapal. May bagong tapang sa one inclusion nation. H and I got first. Thank you very much for watching. Good night.
and bye for now. Bye-bye.